Vesta's fart fuel to the moon. The moon was big, so high in the sky. Mikey wanted to visit. One day I'll try. I'll make a spaceship with a big round window. So when I reach the moon, I can shout, Bingo! I'll make it like a rocket and have wings like a bird and soar through the galaxy and hope I won't be heard. Mom and Dad will be cutched up tight, all warm in bed all through the night. And his brother Cameron will be fast asleep too, because he's cranky if he doesn't have a snooze. I'll get to work first thing tomorrow. But first I need time to play with Play-Doh. Then I'll get right to work to create my invention. Because to get to the moon has always been my intention. Mikey yawned and rubbed his eyes tight. He knew it was time to say goodnight. I'll see you tomorrow, my wonderful moon. I'll see you tomorrow and be with you soon. Mikey jumped into bed with his pet dog, Buster. He loved how he cuddled and how his paws smelled like custard. They both liked to dream of flying through space. They would snore very loud with a smile on their face. Buster and Mikey had very big hearts. The problem with Buster is he was filled with farts. The very next morning, Mikey jumped out of bed. He put on his dressing gown and scratched his head. He needed to make his amazing spaceship and thought really hard with his hands on his hips. A cardboard box will do the job. I'll cut out a window to know when to stop. I'll get some old benches to build the wings and hold them up with sticks and strings. I'll make a flag that will say Mikey's rocket and take lots of snacks that I'll store in my pocket. As the day went on, the sun set again. I'll wait a little more, maybe until 10. But Mikey yawned and rubbed his eyes tight. He knew it was time to say goodnight. It was such a busy day. Mikey needed a rest, so a fresh start tomorrow he thought would be best. Mikey jumped into bed with his pet dog Buster. He loved how he cuddled and how his paws smelt like custard. Buster and Mikey had very big hearts. The only problem with Buster is he was filled with farts. The very next day was the day he would visit the moon, so he waited and waited. It'll be time soon. Then the time had arrived where Mikey could go. Blast into space! No one could tell him no. He put on his space helmet and a silver space suit. He looked in the mirror and thought, hey, I look cute. But what Mikey forgot is that there is no rocket fuel. He was just sat there, unhappy, stuck on his stool. He jumped into bed with his caring pet dog and felt so defeated and just sobbed and sobbed. He needed a new idea. Come on, Mikey, you're so smart. Then all of a sudden, there was a huge... <coughs> Fart. That's it! I know how to make the rocket start. To get to the moon, we can use Buster's rocket fuel fart. <coughs> Mikey had got such a wonderful idea. A crazy, smelly, marvellous idea. Mikey went to the kitchen to make sure Buster was fed. 
because if he gave him sprouts, they'd blast off from the bed. Buster gobbled them up and his belly created bubbles. They sat in the rocket and could feel some small rumbles. Mikey gave Buster a plate of beans to scoff, then all of a sudden, blast off! They shot through the air and flew past the stars. They got to the galaxy and floated past Mars. Closer and closer they got to the moon. I told you, I told you I'd be with you soon. They watched through the window to see what was floating by. An alien, a saucepan, a spoon, an apple pie, a mop and a broom, a bed, a balloon, a lamp, a shoe, a ball and a space baboon. They finally landed and looked all around. Who knew the moon was really this round? There was nothing but moon sand and holes here and there. And an alien had waved to them. But Mikey got scared. It's time to go, Buster. I really had fun. But now seeing that alien, I think it's time to run. They got in their rocket and Buster ate the food so Buster could fart and get the rocket to move. They took off again and returned home to their beds and dreamed and dreamed of the adventures that lie ahead. Buster and Mikey had very big hearts and the best thing about Buster is he was filled with farts. The end. I hope you enjoyed our story, Buster's Fart Fuel to the Moon. There will be more coming very, very soon. So subscribe to our channel to be the first to see them. Bye guys. Ha, 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 ha.